morning guys what am i doing in this silly hat well i'm actually quite cold right now as we're speaking i think they were just beads but yeah so great find guys morning guys what am i doing in this silly hat well i'm actually quite cold right now as we're speaking it's half nine in the morning and we're off back on another little adventure but it's a quite a big one we are today going with Ween so he's taken us today and he's offered to take us all the way to Brigstock which has got all the connections with Robin Hood and Anglo-Saxon times because it's a really old place in fact Brigstock okay take it off if you want I just I've got the new look when I don't have my beard and I've just got my moustache yeah so I'm looking a bit strange but hey I needed a shave and I've got my army trousers on uh, because I'm going to an old POW camp so prisoner of war camp um, tell you a little bit more about that when we get closer to it but yeah I'm off today on yet another adventure I'm a bit cold so I'm wearing my hat right now we're being picked up as I say by someone well not someone the Agrofest organizer and we are going as I say to Brigstock follow me as we go deep into the woods we'll see a few things in the area including an old mill uh, a very old church hopefully a bow case if I can find it um, and yeah we are off very soon remember to subscribe below tell your friends about it all and enjoy my fashion <laughs> now as I say I'm, I'm feeling a bit cold so it's important I wear something like this today but anyway off we go guys to Brigstock follow me yeah I was gonna say guys before I forget Brigstock okay not too sure what it stands for I'm gonna ask the locals on that one but Brigstock is one of the oldest villages okay not only in Northamptonshire but in the whole of the UK it was part of the Kingdom of Mercia which is one of the old kingdoms of the UK before it was split into different regions okay so we're talking about a very very old place I need to warm my head but off we go guys and enjoy the day the other video the other day I thought that was gonna be my last one but no <laughs> I've been I've been offered to go again somewhere else so I'm really happy people are helping me to go places because I wouldn't have been able to get there right guys we are off as I said um, in the car and we've got our driver Ween Hello. 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 Uh, you still got a channel and that, yeah? Yeah, Ween on Wheels. Ween on Wheels? Ween on Wheels, yeah. check me out. I'll add it to the description anyway in the YouTube video when it, once it's all um, edited. Um, big shout out as well to the Space Invader who helps me with the editing software problems at the moment because I have a problem with my laptop. Um, here we go. Be careful. Crazy guys. Uh, we're off to uh, Big Stock, like I told you, but we're going, I think, via Grafton Underwood. If you remember, I walked all this distance with Little Man <laughs> once already. Can't believe how far it was. But yeah, guys, um, as we get to Big Stock, I will tell you a little bit more about some information I picked up last night. Let's go, guys. Guys, we just arrived in Brigstock, early morning, beautiful little village. All the houses uh, with the same kind of rock that I told you last time when we were in another little village that comes from nearby quarries and stuff. Um, we're going to go and visit St Andrew's Church, guys, um, which has got a few things there I want to show you about. And we're going to look around as well. In the village itself because this village actually 
was part of the Mercia Kingdom. So the Kingdom of Mercia, let's say. And that is a very, very old village and very old history, if you know your kingdoms of the UK. Here we have it. St Andrews. It's very similar to the church we saw in Grafton Underwood. And it's probably around the same era that it was built. Oh, we've got the half flag down there because of the Queen. Rest in peace. I'm going to show you actually something here to do with some very peculiar towers and structures of this building. It was obviously built in Anglo-Saxon times. I uh, can't see any gargoyles here. Oh, there is some up there actually. Oh, it's open as well. I'd never find these places open. Can we go in a sec? Wow. Oh my God. Yeah, it's old. Look, you can see up there the different uh, stages of how it was built. I'm assuming these are where they ring the bells. Yeah, I bet they ring the bells here. Cool. You know, I'm not here just for this church. We're here mainly for the POW camp. But I've just read that um, it already existed in the Doomsday Book, which quite a while ago, as I said, and it was built in Anglo-Saxon times. Question. Anyone know why there's an arch there? So that's at the bottom of the church. Possibly it was to do with some grave, because I know they had very big, elaborate graves back in them days. And right in the foot of the church is quite cool in a way right there but i'm just going to show you the tower being converted right now into flats some kind of property i believe i don't know if someone wants to buy the whole property see how high the doors are over there it's going to be on the market for five hundred thousand pounds if anyone wants this i'd like that i ain't got the money for it but it's beautiful beautiful building so i'm really happy i found that because i wanted to find that before i get to the power camp that is where we're going now and then on the way back, we'll see a few more things as well, guys. Hence the name Old Dry Lane. And look how high the doors were. Stunning building. Just look at that. That is something else. I'm really happy I found that. I'm happy they've done something with it. There's still holes in the windows, guys. So we're heading out of Brigstock. Brigstock's down there. We're coming back to Brigstock in a bit. But we're heading out of here now as we go towards the power camp. We nearly couldn't get in. What happened there? Some guy. Typical guy. Don't want us to come and check out the land. Obviously, we explained to him. Pedro is filming this video about the history. And yeah, so now we're in there. Just going to have a quick check it out and then get out. Before I forget, guys, this is obviously... Well, I don't know if you guys know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. I found out recently it was a... Um, I can't remember what year now, but I think it was between the 60s and 1993. It was a lorry park and a cattle transport business, so that would make sense. As, yeah, we had a bit of an issue coming in here, but got me quite nervous. And I'm not afraid to say this on camera because he did. He got me quite nervous and he was acting very shifty, the guy. Like he's got something to hide in here. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, I just wanted to say, guys, that this POW camp, okay, was an immigration camp for... Canadians and it was built in 1925 and it originally had 55 huts. I don't know where they are. Hopefully you might be able to show me that where they are. Yeah, there's huts all, all the way up here and they run all the way along there, yeah. down both sides. And um, it was, as I say, it was built in 1925, the year my dad was born in. So rest in peace, dad. In 1939, it was an army camp. It had ATS and Land Army Camp. And also, actually, was a USA training camp because Grafton Underwood, nearby, was an, I think it was Air Force, Royal Air Force, USA Air Force, um, were there. And that's very near here, okay? So, yeah, it was a US training camp. And then, when the war ended in 1945, it was a home to 400 ATS Auxiliary Territorial Service females. 
So females were stationed here, guys, which is quite cool because it's different, you know. My cam, my my light isn't as good as stuff I hoped, but this man here's got a good light on his phone. I'm hoping. Uh, <laughs> In 1951, the USA Army, so the USA Army, after having been at Grafton Underwood, which is not far away from here, took over again. And in 1960, Stewart's and Lloyd's Steelworks purchased the site. Wow. Am I going in? Of course I'm going in. Careful of the floor, bro, yeah? Because the yeah. floor is... Is it uneven? Stable, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It's you uneven. Have a look, have a look around, yeah. Wow. We're on top of history. This is why I like these places. Um, but I wanted to tell you something. As I say, in 1960, guys, Stuart's and Lloyd Steelworks purchased this site and used the site for their living quarters. So for the people who worked at the place, they lived around here. And this might sound confusing, but it's real. Apparently, they paid between two and four pounds a week rent. What about that? Between two and four pounds a week. Would you live here? <laughs> That's not very expensive, is it? But it was back then though. Yeah, and then they sent everyone towards Corby after here. But yeah, a lot of uneven ground here. I can see why they didn't want us to come in because of our own safety. But that guy didn't give a monkeys about my safety. He's giving a monkeys only about his reputation or whatever, you know. But what he doesn't realise is that I'm going to say a big hello to you, you who tried to not get me in here. I'm here, as you can see, doing a video, like I told you. And it's good to know there's people around who are worried about trespassers, etc. And I get that. Oh, we've got a plane here, low flying plane. It's probably him. <laughs> probably him coming to spy on me. But yeah, I understand he was worried. And in a way, I'm happy that there is people here looking out for other people's safety. Because even though the guy, I'm sorry to say this, my friend, if you're watching, which I doubt, because you don't believe I'm a YouTuber, but if you do, you made me quite nervy. I'm a person who suffers from mental health, and the way you treated me was inappropriate, my friend, because I'm not here to cause any issues. My stay here today has been kind of messed up because of the way you treated us. There's no need to treat people like that when we're here to film the history of such an important place. Um, having said all that, I also want to let you know, and I think it goes with what I'm saying, if you get the pun. Since the 1960s, this was a chicken farm. Yeah. Chick, 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 chick. You know where I'm going with this, but I'm not going to say anymore. Uh, I've seen like a little tower down there. Yeah, that's down there. That's yeah. like, um, that's where you see the horses. Where, you get where the stables. What's that there? That's a gutted building that's as well. That's like a burnt down building, but there's stuff around here. That's there. massive, man, the area. Thanks for bringing me. No worries, man. I knew you'd like it. That's what I thought. You're moving away. Yeah. You know, there's a, a lot of YouTubers don't do abandoned buildings anymore. I think because they can't get in the places. Yeah. You know? So it's like, a, look at that. Wow. What are these? Like the corrugated, it's like the, the roof material. Yeah, yeah. You can go up there though. I'm, st I'm still... Oh. Yeah, I'm used to it on my travels. So quite derelict and abandoned. No different to other places I've been to though. It's just in case of that Muppet, I'm gonna call you Muppet because you, you, you deserve that name, right? Just in case that Muppet <laughs> has called the police on me. I'm not gonna stay here too long and I want to get as much footage as I can. But, as I say, we're not here for any wrongdoings. You guys know that, but we're just looking around. This is history, very important history as well to do with military. We're just going to walk around a little bit more and then we'll leave like we said we would do. Not sure what this is guys. Some kind of shaft here or is it just old machinery that's been left around? POW standing for prisoner of war obviously. So I felt like a bit like a prisoner of war when I came here because of the way that guy treated me but anyway here's um, more slab tarmac so I'm assuming there's some kind of building here where I'm standing. It's a shame that happened, but we're in. <laughs> so, despite getting told, mm, I don't want you to go inside, blah de blah like Ween asked the guy, but is this your land? And he says, no. So it doesn't belong to him, but for some reason, he's trying to hide it. Maybe he's got something to hide here, I don't know. Just seen some steps there, guys. I know they're just steps, but they're part, they're part of history. It's, it's got to do with something that was here. Look at that. 
Is there any more buildings or just these we've found? There's some, there's them ones over the other side as well, you know like the horse the stables? Yeah. Well, you can go around the building with the lorries in and stuff as well, there's a few buildings in there. Look at all this, that's a shame isn't it? That really is a shame. Actually, this looks like it's been bombarded. <laughs> oh. Or oh, it's been in some storm, like an earthquake or, or a tsunami or something. Sorry to say it like that, I'm not trying to be rude, but that's what it looks like. Um, people should understand YouTubers are not here to wreck places. YouTubers are here to remind people of the history. I also had a bit of issues when I tried to get into Grafton Underwood. For some reason, people are acting really snobby around here. There's no need for that. Comment below what you think, because I think there's no need for any of that. I'm back to my normal self again. I've calmed down again, right? But obviously he didn't know I had issues and I think he calmed down a bit when he realized because well in a way it's a form of abuse guys it's mental abuse towards me with my problems if it wasn't for man here win i might have just collapsed or something and that would have been a good a whole load of good use wouldn't it but that's how i get when i get very nervous but yeah we're just going through see what else we can find guys look at that and i'm really happy he brought me here because these are kind of things that i have seen in the past now we're just going into God knows where, walking around, seeing what else we can find, guys. Follow me. I just heard that the guy took a photo of me. Well, take a photo of me. That would be great because people already know me. So they'll be like, yeah, he's just doing his YouTube stuff. Exactly. <laughs> I was going to take a video of him first. Then I thought he might get shirty with me, so I thought, leave it. You're even allowed to take videos of police if you want to. Within my boundaries, I could have taken a video of him. Yeah, we're just finding this. This is completely... I don't know what this building was, guys. Anyone? And as I say guys, we're leaving as we said we were going to. We said we we're going to be here for 10 minutes and we've been here for 10 minutes. But on my way out, I'm going to show you the building where I was at the beginning, which is where after the 1960s until 1993, there was a lorry park here and a transport, um, cattle transport, I believe. So to do with farmers and stuff. That little building there would be interesting to see. That tower thing over there. Can we get in there? I don't know. Let's have a look. Guys, this reminds me. Right. You want to go first? I'll put, I'll put to get, yeah, you he wants me to go first. I'm used to going first. And is, isn't it, guys? Anyone anyone um, watching from Nottingham? What do they always do? Let's send Pedro in first. Yeah? I've been, I've been on adventures with people, but they never go in. They always get me to go in first. Because <laughs> I'm quite daring like that. Right, guys. As I always say in any of these adventures if there's anyone here we're not here to cause trouble we're youtubers just just saying in well advance because we're allowed to come here today to film a bit and i have to be always very careful that there's no squatters about sometimes you get people in here living beautiful beautiful so yeah we might be plastered all over local sites intruders we're not intruders i'm a youtuber as i say we're not here to wreck the place. We're here to enjoy ourselves with the history. Wonder what that would have been there. Because they look like lookout posts, but how can it be lookout posts when what, what were they doing? Hanging from there. <laughs> you know what I mean? It must have been someone pretty, pretty tall. Have you seen that by the way? It could have been something else here. One of my favourite bands back in the day. Wu Tang. Yeah, well Wu Tang clang, isn't it? Look at that guys. Oh, it's even bigger. So we thought coming in the morning would be a good idea. And I think it is a good idea because you get more light. There's definitely been people here. Oh man, people have been coming here for years. Like I said, I first came here when I was like 13. Look at that. That is cool, man. See, this looks to me that it's new. Relatively, relatively new. But if these were living quarters, was this something... Oh, is this for horses? I'm not too sure though. Okay. I'm, not too sure. I'm just wondering because it could have been like like in a toilet or in a bathroom or something. Yeah. Like a water area. And here, see, because there's been that many things going on over the years and different, different businesses and stuff, it would have been nice to find this just after the World War, you know, with everything to do with the army. That would have been amazing to find. But obviously over the years other people have come in and changed it around and done other things to it. So I can't tell you this table was here back in 1945 because I very much doubt it. But these quarters were either the stables or some part of the living quarters. 
like Ween was saying, it could be something to do with stables and horses because I, I find in like what looks like hay. Well, obviously, it's old, bro. If it was hay from back then, it would have been. It would have. Like, no, I know, I know, but let's say it was. It's weird that there's hay there, isn't it? What I'm saying is they might have like reused it recently yeah, yeah. for horses yeah. or something. Definitely something's gone in here. Something's happened in here because. It looks like someone was in it and tried to get out quickly or something. <laughs> and there's probably still people that come here. I don't know what this tower is, but I've come up. You know, like you lot say I don't like climbing. Well, I've just climbed up. Because I've got issues with my legs. Ween, you don't know about that. I've got issues with my legs. That's why I'm not supposed to be climbing shit. But anyway, uh, when you're coming to watch and visit history, you've got to do it. I don't know what it is, guys, or what it was for. But there seems to be now up there cement blocks. Some chimney, maybe? I don't know, you know. I think it's more of another lookout post of some kind. Anybody know? Comment. Look at that there. Still machinery in here, obviously. And this is what they were worried we were going to do. I'm not here. You think I'm going to take one of them out of here? Are they stupid? I've come here to look at the history. I don't care about the machinery. Look at that. Probably these things in here is not as old as all the other stuff, actually. Maybe this guy who didn't like me coming in here, maybe he owns one of these or something. But really, what does he think I'm going to do? Look at that. Hey, you. You didn't get told off for being in here, did you? Pigeons get away with everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They've got the pits so they can work. It looks like it's still in usage today. I don't know. My little boy will like all this. Oh. I'm more interested in the building, but yeah. Anyway, guys, I don't know how much time we've got left to do stuff, but if we can... We'll go past some other stuff on the way back, guys. Oh, wow. You know how much I love my abandoned places. Well done, man. Thank you. I appreciate this. This room in itself, you know, there's something about it. I can't zoom in. Be careful, because when you can't zoom in properly, it normally means the spirit's about. That's why I was asking what these camps were for. Because yeah. if anyone's died in here, then there's going to be spirits, spirits about and stuff. Wow, that's a shame we can't get up there. Or can we? How do you get up there? Oh, Carlos, thanks for the recommendation as well. More buildings. So there's quite a lot here to see, guys. And we're lucky we got in. That's weird because it looks like that tree might have fallen and then landed on there. But in a way, it's actually helped. Because if you look down there, there's no tree down there and it's all falling down. So nature has taken its toll here to support this up. Conkers. I was talking about conkers the other day. What's going on? Conkers used to come out in October. We're in September still. Wow. What's your other name, by the way, apart from Wynn? Uh, what, Jay? Just call me Jay or something. Jay, alright. Well, Jay says... Sorry to say this. He says it's a bit spooky in here. <laughs> right? Now, obviously, if it's been a camp and what have you not, there's going to have been things that happened here. Do you know what I mean? Someone's been here. There's a pillow. Whatever the case is... Remember, guys, stick to the sides when you're going around a place like this that's like that. Because if it's the caving in the middle, then it's going to hurt you. Whereas you are near the outsides, obviously not there. <laughs> Don't put your foot in there unless you're lower and But yeah, stick to the outsides. Because even, even if a bomb landed here, the outside would still be okay. A little bit, at least. <laughs> I hope. Anyway. Oh, found a toilet. I need a wee as well. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a bit mashed. It is quite airy in here. I've got to admit that. It's quite airy. Nice fine building there. Wonder what this was. Anyone? 
let us know. But anyway, we had a great exploration here, despite having issues to get in. I don't know what's under there, guys, but that... Hmm. If I had a... You got a torch on you? Quick question. What's this doing here? What is this? What kind of egg is this? Anyone? He's right, though. It is spooky. But then, it should be. That's what these places are like. Fantastic exploration, guys. I'm not going to go too far down there because that looks like it's just going to fall apart even if I stood on it. So that's not a good idea, but yeah. We could play some like horror games in here. Yeah? We could just jump out <laughs> somewhere and make someone jump. <laughs> See, I don't know where he's gone now. He could be waiting around the corner, but I don't think he's that kind of guy. I don't think he's going to make me jump. <laughs> But he's vanished. Maybe he's gone to toilet. I don't know. But we're leaving here anyway, guys. Hopefully I'll try and find this bouquet stone to do with Robin Hood. But if I don't, then I don't. There he is. Fuck, nearly made me jump again, the guy. <laughs> Alright. I'm just saying it's got you could play like a horror game here. Where you like have to hide and then like boo. I'd shit myself. Because <laughs> it's, it's, it's eerie in there anyway. Yeah, it's spooky, right guys, so I'm leaving here. Big thanks to this guy for bringing me here. No worries. The, Check out my channel, Ween on Wheels. Yeah, I'll write all the links underneath anyway, guys, as you know. I don't know if he's got time to go and show me something else on the way back now, but if we do, we, we obviously will video it, guys. And I always do an outro video where I'm in the, the main place, which is here. So remember to subscribe to my channel, guys. No, I'm going back in the dark for you. Uh, share help me get to 1000 subscribers because i'll be able to do live videos i'll be able to already being sponsored by the way by tricell films okay that's my good friend from brazil damien cage okay tricell films or are, are, are already i've stopped a minute because i've just seen something weird what is this anyone know what this is I thought they were olives first, but they're bloody not olives. I don't know what they are. Some necklace? Anyone? I think they were just beads, but yeah, so. Great find, guys, and uh, a lot of history behind this. You can look on 28 Days Later, so I know some people uh, up from Derbyshire who do YouTube in still like, abandoned places. I'll make sure this video goes on your site so you can see this as well, because I don't know if you know about this. Because there's a lot of people around here who told me about this, but other people said it's not there anymore. They've taken it down or something. Well, that wasn't true. I found it, as I always find everything. So, just want to say, on the way out, if we do spot a few other places, I'll do a little video and photos anyway. But a big thank you today for watching again. As you know, I'm leaving the area, guys, so there won't be many more videos around this area for a while. Although I do plan to come back to places as well. I'm meeting up with Callum, the other skateboarder. Because this guy, by the way, I didn't mention, is an inline skater. Is it, is it called like that? Inline skating? Yeah, yeah. And the other guy I'm supposed to meet one day in Geddington is Callum. I can't remember his surname, but it's another skater. Um, but I'd, there's a few people who want to do things with me recently, so it's good. You know, promote each other. Big shout out to Purple Vision, it used to be called The Koch from Wellingborough. And uh, yeah. Pow, wow, let's say wow, wow camp. The wow camp, yeah? You know what to do. Message if you want to know anything or you have any like uh, things that I might have missed or, or information that you want to write, just write it down below or write it in the social medias. Um, from me, Lost Pilgrim, until next time. Enjoy yourselves, stay safe and God bless you.